Hello friends, thank you for coming back to the channel. I really appreciate it. So today the topic is CTF and CTF comes for capture the flag. CTF or capture the flag is an exercise that designed to test a person's cybersecurity skills. And the CTF is designed in a form of a game. In example, the whole process is gamified to take the person's interest to a next level. The idea of the game is that a number of flags are secretly hidden purposefully in vulnerable programs. The competitors have to capture as many flags as possible. The goal is to collect the maximum number of flags. So how is the capture the flag competition designed? The competition is designed in two ways. Either the competitors can steal flag from other competitors or they get the flags from the organizers. The former method is called attack defense CTF style and the later type, so termed as a Jeopardy style challenge. There is a couple of variants, this type of competition. These two are the most famous formats of the event. This is accordingly to the European Union Agency of Cybersecurity. In the attack and deface style, participants are giving a takes to take down flags from as many targets as possible. Participants have a range of targets initially. This is more of a competitive experience than a Jeopardy style. So what are the benefits of CTF? In today's time, when cybersecurity is the need of the hour, there is a dire need to have cybersecurity related skills by people from every walk of life. Particularly, this is essential for developers cybersecurity officials, and business employees that work with digital systems. With the Capture the Flag competition, the organizers of the event designed the game in such a way that the participant cybersecurity skills are tested. Skills of different levels can be tested by making the competition difficult or easy. In addition to that, the competition can be designed in such a way to test the defensive skills of the participants, or in some cases, the offensive skills. The idea is to give the opportunity to teams to enter the rival competitor's network and attack them by protecting their own assets from being attacked. Capture the flag competition is also a way to test a wide variety of skills of the participants, like testing skills, reverse engineering, application security, intrusion detection, and penetration testing. So capture the flag requires hands-on experience with software vulnerability. Modern tools and coding practices requires developers to develop good code. Nevertheless, all software that are delivered to the clients are faulty at one point or another. With a deep security audit, the vulnerabilities can be identified. The core of this is think like a hacker. Thus, when you think like a hacker, you are able to exploit the software from all aspects. It is important for developers to act the software they have developed. Once they think like hackers, they are in a better position to create useful test cases from security perspective. So what are the type of challenges participants encounter? And the challenges that the participants have to concur and divide roughly into six categories. Web. In this type, the participants have to exploit a vulnerability in a web-based application. Common vulnerabilities include cross-site scripting or SQL injections. The second is forensic, and in this challenge, the participants have to promote data analysis or investigation on some of sort data, like analyzing a memory dump file or packet analysis. The third one is cryptography, and this is the most exciting of all of the challenges. 
In this type, the task is to decrypt a set of encrypted strings. The participants have to know the various types of cryptographic algorithms like substitution crypto, scissor cipher, etc. Reverse engineering or reversing is the fourth, and in this challenge, the participants have to reverse engineer an application or an executable like an APK or a binary file like PE file. A key has to be found out using techniques like recompilation, reverse engineering tools, or disassemble using static or dynamic analysis. OSI and T is another type, and the problem-solving skills of the participants are judged which include getting hints from the application and googling a bit related to the hints. Last but not least is miscellaneous, Anything other than the points mentioned can be listed in this category. This can be anything that you can find on Google. Thus, for this part, you need to be ready for any type of challenge. This can include remote code execution, programming challenges, or steganography. So what are the tools for the competition? So following our few tools you should know how to use in order to carry out the competition challenges. Metasploit. This is a set of tools that is fascinated by hackers all over the world. It is best for penetration testing, and with this, the user can exploit a payload. Kali. It's a Linux distribution which is best suited for hacking attempts. It supports hacking tools and is ideal for penetration testing. Kali can also run as a VM. Python. It is a useful scripting language to add the functionality of your choice. Using pip, you can install packages of your choice. Jidra, this is reverse engineering tools based on Java. It is free and very powerful. Using Jidra, binary code can be converted into high-level C code. Last but not least, debugging tools. Tools like Immunity can come in handy during a competition. Using that, you can investigate the contracts or registers, pause execution, analysis programs, and many other debugging options. As final thoughts, CTF is a global event where the cybersecurity skills of the participants are checked and assessed. There are many witty ways to succeed in the challenge. It is best to know the challenges like web-based application challenges, forensics activities, reverse engineering, cryptography, and many others. IT is also important to know the knowledge of hands on tools like Kali, Jidra, Immunity, Metasploit, etc. With the Capture the Flag Challenge, the participants are encouraged to catch as many flags as they can, lay their hands on. The code concept is think like a pro hacker and stay aligned with the latest security threats in the cyberspace. So, hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much. Go play the CTF game. Definitely there is a lot to learn and improve. And until the next time, see you.